Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair and today we're checking out our first Eastwood guitar on the channel. This is an Eastwood Airline H78 in metallic blue. Let's take a look. So I just picked up this thing locally and it is mint, like there's not a scratch on it, it looks brand new and the color is just really really cool. It's called uh, metallic blue, it's very close to like a Pelham blue from Gibson. But uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Eastwood, Eastwood's a company that uh, makes old guitar models that have been discontinued and uh, they kind of revive them and redo them under their own name. Um, you can get some crazy old guitars from Eastwood, like some Maserites and some airline models, like the guitar that Jack White plays is currently being produced by Eastwood or a similar model. And uh, this model is an H78. So this one is actually modeled after a Harmony H78 from the 60s. And this model of Harmony was sold under Silver Tone and airline brands through Sears and Montgomery Ward. Uh, the top of the Harmony line at the time was the H78 and it's got a Bigsby tailpiece, uh, independent switches for each uh, pickup and the originals had the de gold foil pickups. And this version, they've recreated it with a couple of modern appointments. Um, this one has a, a truss rod, which the original didn't have. This one also has a roller bridge that uh, is going to help you with uh, tuning stability. Um, it's got a center block, uh, so some of these old hollow bodies didn't have a center block. The center block just kind of helps with uh, uh, feedback suppression. And this one also has the Valco Argyle gold fold pickups um, where they're trying to recreate the Diamond gold foils. So the construction of this is very similar to like a Gibson ES-335. It's got a arch top um, with laminated wood. So it's a maple poplar maple sandwich. That's for the top. This one also has the vintage style F holes. We've got a Bigsby. We've got the three gold foil pickups, the roller bridge. Um, each pickup has a switch. So this is on and off for middle bridge and neck pickup and then we've got a volume and a tone for each pickup as well and we've got a bound body on the back and on the top it's a bolt-on neck so similar to the original model and the neck is bound it's a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard acrylic uh, try our rectangle inlays and we've got a plastic nut and then we've got our airline logo there and our truss rods right there so yeah a uh, pretty gorgeous looking guitar I've never played uh, a three pickup hollow body before much less a three pickup gold foil hollow body so it's uh, probably will have a pretty unique sound to it so I'm excited to plug it in well alright let's go ahead and get on the bench and get some specs Weighing in at 8 pounds, 5.2 ounces. So these single coil pickups are called the Airline Argyle Gold Foil Single Coils. And let's just see what the rating here. So when the switches are all down, that means they're off. And then in the up position, that means they're on. Just make sure all of our knobs are maxed here. So in the bridge position, it's reading an 8.41 middle pickup an 8.41 and the neck pickup is an 8.42 so they're all likely the same pickup just in different positions and uh, just placing the pickup in a different position changes the sound with that the nut is a 1.67 and at the 12th fret a 2.04 neck depth at the first fret is a 0 
and at the 12th fret, uh, 0.95. So yeah, it's a pretty chunky neck. Uh, I would say it's close to like a 50s rounded if it were a Gibson. And this guitar is the same scale length and radius as a Gibson as well. So it's a 24.75 scale um, with the 12 inch radius. Here's a look at our profile. So it starts off very rounded, like a typical rounded C kind of an act, but then it flattens out a lot by the 12th fret. So the way these pickups are mounted to the body is interesting. Um, the body is like recessed, and that's where the pickup kind of sits in there. I had to get the pick guard out of the way. So I'm just taking out the screws now, so we can kind of see what's going on here. So, okay. Remove these all together. So yeah, recessed into the body, they have these little pickup cavities. And there's a look at our pickup on the back. So these are the gold foil argyle pickups. It looks like you can take the, uh, oh, that's just that bottom part. You don't want to remove that, just leave it there. Although you can, and that's how it looks like. Looks like they're kind of uh, glued into place there. And there's a look at our cavity. So it looks like it's recessed right into the center block. And then they just have a little bit of foam there holding up the, uh, the pickup. So you can do a little bit of height adjustment with the foam. And it looks like they've got some shielding paint in the pickup cavities. And there's our maple, poplar maple sandwich you can see on the side there. And uh, these are all the same pickups, so I'm just going to remove the one because uh, they're all going to be similar. They're just recessed into the center block with a bit of foam for height adjustment. And here's a look at our roller bridge, which is branded BH1993. And uh, yeah, it's saddle adjustable, so you can adjust. Uh, it's just like a two pneumatic, but with uh, roller bridges instead. And it looks like our bridge posts are slotted, so you can adjust them with a flathead screwdriver. And then we've just got a standard Bigsby. And there's our Bigsby. It's a Bigsby licensed uh, trim, so that's good. And here's a look at our switches. So when you remove the switch plate, you can see it's just got three offshore style switches on there and that's just bolted directly to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the neck quickly, see what we've got going on there. Okay. Go ahead and remove the neck. So there's our neck pocket. Looks like there's some markings in there from the factory. I-73. We've got two little wood shims in here, which is pretty standard from the factory a lot of the time. And then our neck is just blank. No markings or anything else like that. Actually, there is a number two there. And uh, our neck pocket fit is nice and tight. Not a lot of wiggle room. So that's good. All right, we're having a look with the endoscope inside here. Uh, so this is on the base side where the electronics are not on this side. So we're just having a look at the cavity here. You can see our maple block. It looks like there's a bit of mahogany on the bottom of that maple block. And yeah, the inside looks nice and clean. You can see our maple. Now let's move over to the other side to see the electronics. And this is over by the horn where the switches are. Just trying to get a good look down that channel there. 
And there's our switches. So yeah, that's over in the horn section. And uh, again, nice and clean. Not a lot of squeeze out for glue or anything else like that. There's our output jack. And it looks like they're using full size pots. Uh, there's a look at our capacitor. And yeah, that's basically it. There's not much else to see inside. Um, but everything looks well uh, wired and clean and how it's supposed to look. All right, here's a look at our headstock, which is in nice shape. No scratches or dings anywhere there. And there's a look at our truss cavity, which uh, is the truss rods easy to move and seems nice and responsive. Let's look at our nut, our plastic nut, and our block acrylic inlays. And uh, yeah, no fretware on this guitar. Looks like it's barely been played. And yeah, the rosewood looks nice. It's a nice piece of rosewood. And then yeah, like I said before, this guitar is, is mint. There's no scratches or marks or dings anywhere. And as far as quality control goes, I found no issues, no finish flaws. Everything looks good and I really like this finish. That metallic blue they call it, which is very similar to like a Pelham blue. Looks great. We've got uh, multi-ply binding as well. So we'll look at the back. Again, <clears throat> no scratches or dings anywhere. And uh, it's got an arch on the back as well. There's a look at our bolt-on. No marks in the neck. And we've got just you know, generic unbranded tuners, but they seem to work just fine. And our shield number dates this to 2015. Uh, managed to get a nice setup on this guitar. So we can see with our, our notch straight edge here that there's very little space between the notch straight edge and the fingerboard. That means the truss rod set nice and straight. And here in the third fret, you can see that when I use the third fret that the first string is just resting against that first fret. So that means you've got nice low action here and our nut is cut nicely. And then at the 12th fret, we've got 1.5 millimeters on the low E at the 12th fret and just about one millimeter the high E on the 12th fret. So nice low action. That's about where I like to set all my guitars. All right, I'm gonna go through the fretboard and make sure there's no buzzing or fretting out anywhere. And uh, yeah, our, our neck feels nice and smooth. There's no fret sprout at all. It feels very, very good. And I like to speed this part up. So if you wanna hear it in real time, slow down the player to 25%. So yeah, nice low action with no buzzing or fretting out anywhere. And it uh, feels good to play. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in and hear how it sounds. All right, before we plug it in, I just wanna hear how it sounds acoustically a little bit. I'm using my lav mic here, so just picking up the acoustics. got nice resonance and it, it uh, rings out nicely so you can play it uh, acoustically as well Although all right so I'm plugged into my 65 deluxe reverb reissue and uh, I'm just gonna go through the clean tones and then with a little bit of dirt I'm using a really nice transparent overdrive so we should be able to hear just the sound of the guitar let's go ahead <laughs>
it's a bit hard to showcase everything because there's so many options. You've got three different pickup combinations. You can turn them off or on in different sequences. You can also adjust your, your volume or your tone on each pickup to get a blend of both. So yeah, very, very versatile. Lots, lots of different tones you can get out of this thing. And uh, the single coil sound really nice and chimey. Like uh, they sound like vintage DRMans to my ear. They sound great. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just plug it in with a little bit of dirt. Final thoughts on the Eastwood Airline H78 in metallic blue. This is a really nice guitar, and uh, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it. It looks great. It's got that really nice vintage Pelham blue look. The gold foil pickups look great too. I really like the black plastics on here. Um, I really like the block acrylic inlays. The headstock's nice and classy. I really like that airline logo. And uh, it just looks pretty interesting with all the different switches and knobs. But that equates to a lot of versatility in terms of uh, tone combinations as well. So that's great. Um, fit and finish was amazing. No flaws anywhere. It's got a really nice sound and feel to the guitar. And uh, it's quality materials and parts. They got full size pots in there. You've, these pickups sound great and there's nothing wrong with the quality of those and it's constructed very similar to like a Gibson 
ES335 with the maple poplar maple sandwich, arch top, arch back. But yeah, the action is nice and low. It's really easy to play and bend. And uh, the roller bridge kept it in tune very nicely. The Bigsby style tram works, works great. And uh, I was really impressed with the tones. You get some really nice vintage sounding uh, bell chimey like tones on here. It sounds very vintage and it sounds great acoustically. Um, you get a nice sound out of it as well as clean. Really nice cleans out of this guitar. And uh, even with a little bit of distortion it sounded really nice. There was, it was very dynamic sounding and uh, it doesn't sound the same as a lot of other pickups. Just kind of unique which is nice. And they don't make it in this finish anymore so making this guitar a little harder to find. But uh, yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised with this guitar. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it. Uh, this guitar comes with a hard shell case that fits it just perfectly too. And I'm going to have this up for sale on the Reverb if you're interested. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. And I'll have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot.